want to ask Marla about the realms of consciousness and Marla, um, particularly in reference to a friend of mine who just passed over unexpectedly. She was young, vital, vibrant, uh, alive. And I'm just wondering if you could have, a, I'll, I'll show you a little picture here. Do you see her there? Uh, Do you have any- she lovely? She really is. Do you have, you? can you tune in and see what happened? Like why, Any anything you get from tuning into her name? Mm -hmm. I'd be honored to. What's her first name, please? Well, she called, her original name was Katie, but she called herself Guru, Guru Jagat as part of the Kundalini um, Yoga. Um, she was a leader in that field. She had her own yoga place, yoga center in, in LA. Guru Jagat is her name she's used the last 20 years. J-A-G-A-T. Okay. Jagat. I don't know why, but I discovered some time ago that it helps me to have the person's first name. I don't know why, because I don't need it, but it, it's a little bit of an anchoring mm -hmm. um, thing. Katie, if she doesn't mind, if I call her that, has um, zoomed up to if there are different levels on the other side, which I perceive that there are all the time. Um, Katie has zoomed up to a very high place in which she can influence the world in a sort of pyramid shape. I don't mean that it's a pyramid, but she's up here at the top and she can influence and disseminate information. Now, what she's gonna try to learn how to do, and she hasn't quite figured this out, is to get information down to our world level. And she's got to try to penetrate our brains. And if she can't do that, she's going to try to penetrate our hearts. And I don't mean this in a- in She did that way. in her teachings though. When she was teaching, she was at that level where she would bring that information. Oh. And that's why she had such a loyal, beautiful following too at the at, at her Rama yoga place. So yeah, that's, I think, exactly what she tried to do here. Okay. And okay. it's not invasive. I just want to be clear about that. Mm -hmm. her, um, her attempts, and she tells me, I kind of love this about her. She's humble. She's like, I'm just going to attempt to do it. I'm going to do it the best I can. I'm going to refine my technique. I'm going to practice as I did on earth, practice, practice, practice. She encourages everybody to practice their spirituality, no matter what that means um, mm -hmm. to you. And um, she's already connecting with, so she's at the top of this one pyramid, but she's connecting with voices, that's what she calls them, that are far above her and and Alan, you'll love this. And away in other dimensions. I'm not just but saying she that. She was very much, no, she was into that. We talked a lot about that. She really supported my book and my work. And, but why did it have to be so sudden and in a way so tragic? Let me just ask. Well, she doesn't see it as tragic at all, of course, from where she mm -hmm. is. I, I just want to speak to how humble she is. She must have been this way on earth too. Yeah. yeah. She has yeah. no, um, I just want to say this one thing, then I'll address that because that's kind okay. of a big thing. But in this model that she's going to be using, um, there's no hierarchy in it, actually. It's just being a point of information and then disseminating it. So I just want to make that clear because I no, see I it. think that's how she taught. I think that was a part of her earthly model. Yes. Oh, so humble. Yeah. And yes. she wouldn't have chosen leadership originally. She would not have chosen it, but she took on the mantle of purpose. And there's a point where you realize your self-purpose and you think, okay, that's what I have to do then. And she did it. So um, now let's talk about her crossing over. So of course, from where she is now, she sees this as completely not tragic right. and perfect timing. I'm just going to tell you what I get is that while I don't know. She's a little disconnected from 
all of us here in a way uh, that she's, I mean, I, she's well, just not new. troubled. She's not troubled about what happened. She doesn't care. She's excited about the future. She's got to mm-hmm. learn new techniques. And I don't know the circumstances. I'm just telling you from where she is now. Mm-hmm. Nothing tragic. Perfect timing. So there's no message necessarily to, I mean, she's just working on the other side, you're saying. Well, if you're going to go, it was a good time in history to go. Why is that? She can do a lot more on the other side. Okay. Interesting. She was very limited by, and she knew it, Alan, she knew it. She was very limited by the human dynamics, not her. I'm not saying her human dynamics. No, I I know what you mean. The forces that were trying to work against her, her, her speaking out. So thank you. That is, that sounds really accurate considering you didn't know her at all. How do you go about your process when you're, are you channeling or are you doing mediumship? That was mediumship. So I feel like I am connecting with wherever she is. Um, or at least sometimes I meet, I feel we're meeting halfway. Oh, if you said she can do more work on the other side, what is the purpose of being here? I mean, why, why is this, why does it have to go back and forth? And can't you do as much work on this side that you can on the other side? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. Well, I think there's many answers to that question in my experience, but we'll just address her. Yeah. Um, I feel like she's very interested, as I said before, in skill building. So Mm -hmm. this lifetime that she just had was a perfect place to build skills, understand levels of communication, understand um, mm, complex personalities, uh, individual human motivations, this was like a great um, primer for what she's going to do now. Now, I'm not looking at what she did previously, but for her, and I, I, I don't see this really. I think she's, she's unusual. Maybe not though. I mean, that's a, a thing to think about. Preparation for what she has to do now, which in her view is far bigger. She can reach many millions of people instead of just, I mean, she says, I feel like I reached three. (laughs) She said that just now. That's amazing. I'm sure she reached many more people than that. Thousands, I think thousands, but not millions, thousands. But truly reached. But truly reached thousands, but not. That's a pretty good number to truly reach. 